Hi guys, so today I'm going to try out that new Anna Griffin bow maker organizer box thing I picked up recently through HSN. Um, whatever links in the description box for it that I'll have would be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. So I have been eyeballing this for a long time. I know it's kind of expensive. I think it's like 60 some odd dollars. Um, because, you know, it comes with like five rolls of ribbon, and I think they want like 25 or $30 for the ribbon by itself anyway, so I'm like, okay, the bow maker's like another 30 Um, it's very, very basic te technology, right? <laughs> Let me, uh, get it back out. Because the other day when it arrived, I opened it out of the box, but I didn't put it together, so let me... Oh, I'll get this carefully. I hope I don't drop it. So there's that. I think everything I need is already inside. Um... <laughs> I did uh, buy uh, one of her scrapbooks that goes along with like the papers that she put out with the last creative event and the, after the creative event there was like a sale on her site uh, for people who joined or who were at the event and it was just kept crashing I was like whatever I you know I'll leave it alone and so I didn't order anything um, but now those uh, books the scrapbooks are on um, HSN and Mine arrived yesterday, and it's really flat, like in the box. I'm like, oh no, so I'll unbox it or do a haul video. Hopefully it's okay. Uh, the only other uh, review on it, I guess somebody else already received theirs, was that uh, she was upset, no, the person was upset, I don't know, um, that it was only the scrapbook and didn't come with anything. But, like, yeah, I mean, it says there it's just the scrapbook, but she thought it might have some papers or some kind of something, and so it was kind of, like, expensive for what it was, right? But I still wanted it to go along with... Uh, the other items, but I understood that it's just a scrapbook. There's literally nothing else in there. But anyway, so this bow maker, <laughs> I was just, just thinking about that when I was looking at the box. Um, it's super simple. Again, I mean, it's really nice. I, it, it does feel like wood. It doesn't feel like fake stuff. It even smells very woody. Um, so that's good. Like, this is, has a nice weight to it. Um, this also has a nice weight to it. It feels really nice. Um, I did mention that the uh, little gold grommets were oxidizing already. I mean, you can kind of see that. Hopefully that doesn't, like, stain or get on the, um, the ribbon. I don't, you know. It's kind of weird, though, because, I mean, it's brand new and it's already oxidized. But, whatever. So, and then we have our ribbons. It was all packaged up really well, but like I said, I took it out the other day when I was doing the unboxing, or haul video. So let's open this up. And we have all these dowels. So basically we're going to put this together. Of course, I have... Probably a couple hundred rolls of ribbon. So this is very fancy ribbon. She says the reason it's more expensive is because it's double faced. I picked up some ribbon the other day from the Dollar Tree that's also double faced. And the way you tell if your ribbon is double faced or not is sorry guys, that's kind of let me see if I can show you. Um, is it looks pretty on both sides basically. So let me open this up. I guess we're gonna open them all up anyway. Well. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to load it up with these guys. I may have put some other ribbons. <laughs> My Dollar Tree ribbons can go in there. Um, you see the front and the back. It looks beautiful on both sides. And there are some ribbons when you buy. It looks nice on one side and kind of plain on the other. Let me grab some ribbon and see if I can show you what I mean. Okay. I <laughs> just had this ribbon sit next to me. I'm like, oh, this stuff. Uh, olive green satin ribbon. And it looks nice like on the one side, just like it does here. But on the back side, it's not shiny and it has like... It's just not double faced. So when you go to tie your bow, there's definitely a right side and a wrong side. So that would be the difference. Um, that's it. <laughs> so it does feel very nice. It's nice ribbon. And there are 10 yards of each, I think. Let me see, maybe. Yeah. So it comes with two one and a half inch ribbons, which are really nice and big. Um, I don't know how I would use this on a project, to be honest, like a card, because that's really thick. And this one's kind of thin. <laughs> So, but this I would use more than this one on a card. These are 3 8 inch ribbons, and that's why I didn't want to open it up, because then it was going to start giving me problems, but we're going to have to open it anyway. Okay, and what we're going to do is take this guy. And, okay, I suppose you can get these on here now and then try to stick it in there, but I think the best thing to do would be to bring it into the side here first. And then start loading it up. I do want to see that the ribbon is rolling this way. You see that? Because it needs to go to that hole in the front. So it needs to unwind this way so it can go into that hole. Of course you can get it going already. Yes, I dropped some stuff. Of course I did. Alright, so we're going to do that one. Ooh, that noise is not my favorite. <laughs> Sorry, guys.
Uh, I'll try to do that with less noise. I'm just paying attention to that the ribbon is unspooling the right way. And then we're going to bring it all the way over to this other side. It's heavy in my hand, so we're going to put that there to rest. Okay, so uh, you can't see. There we go. Take a knob. They are still like reinforced with metal grommet in there or some kind of metal thing, so that's good. Same thing with the top, because basically you're going to mess with these every time you want to use it, depending on, I guess, if you're always making a certain size bow. Um, you could just... I'm not going to do it too tight, because as I'm tightening, I can feel this other one falling out of my hand over here. So, um, I'm just going to tighten this one up. And one does go backwards, and this one does go forward to screw it on. And I'm just giving them both a turn. I know, I'm sorry, my camera this is as high as it gets. And, ooh, I, that sounds horrible. Ooh, it's, like, you know, got, it's probably going to make that sound every time I use it, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to take this, and look, it still touched the tape, and that's fine. Of course, it's going to be all funky in here and start doing what it's doing already. Do you see that? So I suppose I did it over, because I guess I'm thinking about how I put, like, a toilet paper dispenser. <laughs> I put the toilet paper so it comes over instead of falling down. But maybe falling down would be better the other way, you know? I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to string this through here. Ah! And I'm just using the tape to kind of help me because it's a little bit... Actually, you know, I'll do. I'll fold the tape over make it more firm. Yep, there you go. Hmm, I'm going to have to think about that. Because if I pull this... Oh, it keeps going. You see that? It didn't, like, stop. So I guess it's okay, but it seems weird. Okay. I'm going to put them all through the little hole, just like I did right now. I'll just take this with the tape on it, double over the tape so it makes, like, a, like a thicker piece that I can get through the little hole there. Just some tape stayed on that ribbon, but it's okay. So I'll do this with all of them. The one that's going to be a little tougher to do, I would assume, is this thicker ribbon. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Actually, what I'll do is I'll make this kind of pointy. <laughs> How about that? There we go. Yeah. And I use the tape to kind of help me do that, and then I'll take the tape off. Okay. All right. Well, let me string them all through. I'm gonna remove this tape now. That tape does damage one side of this ribbon, so that first part is kind of ready to be cut away. <laughs> um, and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's all put in there. I will say that maybe if this is sitting here, if you don't use it often enough, it's probably gonna get a kink where this is. You know. So I would try to round it or do it as nicely as we can so it doesn't get too kinked. I don't know. They're pretty. Okay, and then you put this on the top. So, it tells you on here. Start by placing a peg in first hole. Place the second peg in the hole that corresponds with the size of bow desired. So, like, there are tons of pegs too, which is really nice, actually. Um, so, let's start by putting that first one in, like it said. Sorry about the lighting, because I know this is very white, and so this camera is acting funny. Wrap the ribbon as shown, and then step three, next cross the right side over the left side, take the top piece under, and then around the ribbon between the pegs, bring it over the top so ends meet, and tie a knot to hold the bow in place, then slide off the pegs. Um, so what's funny about this is it's very much like the way I do with my fingers what they're saying but it's my fingers and it's free <laughs> all right wrap the ribbon as shown um two inch ribbon let me see a one inch ribbon would be really cute because it's very small um let me you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try a one inch ribbon but i'm gonna use this organza ribbon that i have over here and i'll try to follow the rules here it didn't really say how long you should cut your ribbon it just says start by placing a peg in the first hole place second peg wrap the ribbon as shown um, so that is kind of a bummer because like, okay, how much do I actually need? So I guess I'm going to eyeball this and it says to do it like this, you know, uh, honestly, I don't know. So I'm going to cut this and then I'm, I'll tell you guys how big it is. And if it doesn't work, then we know we need more, <laughs> right? I mean, I don't know how else to do this. Um, so I just cut that this is just Dollar Tree ribbon and it is about seven and a half, almost eight inches, about eight inches long. Wrap the ribbon as shown, cross the right side over the left side, so this is left, this is right, cross it over, 
take the top piece under, so that was the one that we crossed over from the right, go under, and then around the ribbon between the pegs, and then it says to, so we did that, and then it says to bring this over all in that one step, that was step four, looks cute already, bring it over the top so the ends meet, so the ends are pretty much, so you're kind of, if you go like this, it'll kind of even out, and that's interesting. Uh, tie a knot to hold the bow in place. Okay, well this is a very small knot because I only gave myself 8 inches of ribbon because again I don't know how much you need but um, and this stuff is kind of thick so hold on like the width of this ribbon. Ugh. Okay, I'm finding it, I'm finding it, I'm finding it. There it goes. A little bit worse for the wear. It's kind of messed up but that's my fault. Okay, I'm giving it a nice tie. tie. And we do have a perfect little bow. It's kind of wanting to sit up this way, the orientation. I don't know if we can make it relax a little bit. I guess that way. Also, this is organza ribbon, so it's a little bit more stiff. Okay. It's cute. I need to do my finger bow and see if this one's similar. The finger bow, though, I do around my fingers. It, it sits really nicely. So I'm going to cut this extra off because it's kind of ugly. So that 8 inches might make it a little bit tight, especially if you're not... Uh, familiar with bow making so maybe you want to cut like 10 inches for this one inch one I don't know cute I would hate to cut this silky kind of beautiful ribbon and have it too short <laughs> for this next one but let's I'm gonna make a two inch bow and I'm gonna use the light blue color that comes in here So I'm going to move this over to the 2 inch side. Now, would you keep these pegs in place the whole time? Probably not, because if this peg was here, and let's say you try to make a 2 inch bow, and you're just like, okay, I'll go from this one to this one, you're going to have to be very careful. Like, it's kind of, uh, but it does come with several of these. Now, maybe you like to make 1 inch bows, and maybe you like to make 2 inch bows, so maybe what you do is leave one here and leave one at the 1 inch, you know, always ready, and then take a peg and put it like here to here, because this is one inch in between all of them, so now you know that's your two inch one, you know, and then you can always have those set up and ready. I don't know. I just feel, I, I think putting this in here and unscrewing it every time you use it is going to get kind of old. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm pulling this from here, and I'm going to measure about 10 inches, just because it's to make the two inch bow, this was one inch. You're adding a little extra on either. Ooh, I think 10 inches might not even make it. Let's see. Well, let's see what that looks like. Da da. If I had 10 inch bow here and then wrap it around, um, it, it'll work. I think it's going to be very snug. But um, for what I want this for, I want it to be, I don't want a real big ends. I think what I'm going to do is make a bow for Miranda's hair clippy. So. I'm going to cut that. Be very careful with this. Like I said, it did damage. Like, this one doesn't look so bad. But that green... Taking the ends off of these two guys really kind of made it look really bad. <laughs> and then it was touching it in a different part of the roll, and that also looks bad. So, just be careful. It feels really nice. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> so, this... Right over left. Sorry, I started easy. sounding kind of bad. I still sound bad. <laughs> but anyway, again, right over left. And then it says to take that bottom one underneath and over everything, right? And then to line up the ends, which this time was pretty easy to do. That last one was giving me a little bit of problems. And then just tie a knot. So I tie the knot with this top one going under, but, uh, you know, I don't know. However you want to tie a knot. <laughs> ah, this part's the tricky bit. And it's totally falling apart. That's interesting. Just like the organza did. Sorry, that very, oh my gosh. Again, I'm giving myself too little. Because I don't want to end up cutting off a bunch of this expensive ribbon. <laughs> Alright. That's moving. I guess I probably didn't tighten it enough. Okay. There it is. Again, I think I have to figure out, like, as far as making the knot, is it better to tie it from the bottom up? So I'm bringing that down, bring this down. Um, it is double faced. I can see that this one side still looks a little different than like this side, but that's okay. It's still very pretty. Um, so this does fray. So what I'm going to do is cut that, cut this one again. I am wasting a little bit. Oh, 
Why are you acting funny? It doesn't want to cut. Okay. And we're going to bring out Old Faithful. Where? Okay, you guys know I rearranged my stuff the other day. Nope, not that one. Okay, guys, be very careful <laughs> and stay away from your camera. <laughs> we're just going to bring it and singe that very edge so it doesn't unravel. And I'm literally just barely touching it. Now that's sealed. And we have this pretty little bow. So to see how this one kind of sits flat because of the material, I suppose. This one's more puffy. And I guess if I really wanted to squish it down, I would. But Organza is, I think it wants to be puffy. So let's leave her alone. All right. Well, that's that. I'm not going to try one of the big guys because I don't need it and I don't want to waste it. But it, it'd be the same thing. And with those guys, you probably want to make a bow that's bigger because otherwise it's going to be very tight, right? Like, the, you know, if you do this kind of thing, it's going to be kind of weird in that thickness. Okay. Very pretty. It's literally just for looks, <laughs> you know. Um, like, obviously, it's functional. But what I'm saying is the reason I picked it up is because I wanted to see it wherever I put it. Probably over there in that corner all the time with the pretty uh, ribbons coming out. Let me grab some stuff, and I'll try to make it a little hair bow, and I'll be right back. Okay, so in the meantime, I went and grabbed a bunch of cute things to possibly put on there along with our little bow. Again, the bow does sit kind of funny. There we go. That's a little better. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so let's put that to the side. Um... Tons of little buttons. Those I think I recently picked up at Hobby Lobby. But um, whenever Michaels has them on sale or Joann's or Walmart has, you know, all those cute little buttons, whatever it is. I am using this set of Darice, um 18 pack. It says 40 millimeter barrette nickel. Um, I'll link these kind of things in the description box if you're interested. This is a smaller one, so it's like for Miranda. Usually what I do is I cover this with uh, ribbon all around. I just open this up if you have seen any of my other ribbon or bow videos pop this thing out I'm not gonna take it out but just take it out put some ribbon in there it goes around through here you can take this whole thing off if you want and then just tape uh, tape it <laughs> glue it down and it's nice and covered but I'm not gonna do that with this ribbon especially because the ribbon's a little bit wider than this and then it's gonna be hidden most of it so I'm just not gonna do that but what I am gonna do is hold this here and I'm be very careful about this now hot glue sets up pretty quickly but I'm gonna take this whole thing and just pop it on here so oh goodness hopefully I'm where I need to be there and I'm gonna stick it down now you can leave it free floating of course but I'm gonna glue this down as much as I can and that's because I didn't cover it if I had covered this whole thing I would just let the bow do its thing you know but I'm taking that bottom layer of bow and this, whatever touches that very bottom to touch, to cover the whole thing. And basically that's it. So I mean, you can leave it like this and you have a little, there's a French barrette so it holds a little more hair. Clips in really nicely. Cute. But I think I'm going to pop something in the center. <laughs> so we'll see how this turns out. Um, I have, that might be cute, but little sunglasses are adorable. I was thinking more of this one. That we're going into fall. And then these are already kind of like pink and peachy colors, kind of interesting. Thought he would look really cute on there. Aww. But, or, oh my gosh, even the little panda. That's so cute. And then I have these glittery pumpkins, but that doesn't really go very well. So I think I'm going to go with this kind of, I think Miranda picked these out herself. I don't know which one I want to put on here, though. That's cute. Oh, that's cuter because that blue actually goes with that bow in the background. And then I was thinking maybe both things. <laughs> Would that be overkill? You know what? I've been known to go too far sometimes. So I'm going to take the shank off of this just so I can put this down easier. Sorry about the shadows and everything else that's going on right now. Maybe I should close up a little bit. So I'm just going to cut this off. It's just plastic. You can probably do it with scissors. I'm just using this cheap jewelry plier. We put that there and then this little guy oh yes okay I don't know how much this needs but probably quite a bit <laughs> we need that to hold on <laughs> so I'm gonna hold it there making sure it's making contact with something right you want it to hold on so and then this little cutie yay that's cute okay you so on this one, since there's room, I can probably leave the shank there, and that'll actually help me hold it down. So I'm leaving that this time, but most of the time I usually take it off. It just depends on where it's going to be placed. That kind of will help 
hold it because that glue is going to get into that shank and then also onto your project so it kind of just helps hold it on oh my gosh <laughs> Amanda Lou, come here real quick. She just woke up. Can you come see this? I want to. I want to know what you think of it. <laughs> it's a little hair bow. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> using my beads. I know you chose those, huh? She said she's using my beads. <laughs> They're buttons. Isn't that cute? All right, I love it. You love it. All right, well, I guess we're good to go, guys. All right, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a very basic mechanism again on that tool. I just, I thought it was pretty, and that's basically why I wanted it. So thanks for watching. Um, hope that helped you all. Also, to kind of gauge about how much ribbon you actually need to make the bows, I would just kind of do what I did, like measure it out, and then maybe faux wrap it around and see about where you're at, and then that might give you an idea. But it looked like for the one-inch bow, I needed about eight inches or so. Um, and then for this one, I went 10 inches and I, I did have to cut some off at the end. So that's about right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.